I'm Karen Donovan Cohagen, a resident of Elyria Township now. And tell me why we're here today. Well, I read the uh, Bicentennial um, magazine and thought it was really terrific, brought back so many memories of growing up in Elyria. And then I wrote a note in the Chronicle telling them that I appreciated it, but they did forget to mention the special scholarship that Harry Sahars from Paradise uh, granted a recipient at Elyria High and Elyria Catholic, and that I received that scholarship from Elyria Catholic in 1959, and I just was forever grateful to Harry that I had that opportunity to go to nurses training. Paradise in my day was a big place for school from both Elyria High and Elyria Catholic students to go after school to kind of let loose, to la you know, laugh, have a good time, have a j vanilla Coke maybe or a cherry Coke. And Harry was very strict. I, when I would go, which wasn't all that often, but he scared the living daylights out of me. He'd get on his chair at the beginning of the year and tell him that he was having no foolishness. If you couldn't behave, you were out the door. And so I obeyed him. And then when I won his scholarship, I'm like, oh my gosh, this man is really somebody special. And I knew of girls before me who had won, and then I always followed it afterwards. And he just, as gruff as he was, he had a heart as big as the world. And then reading Marcy's article in the Centennial edition, to see how much he, more he did other than this one scholarship that I won. I mean, he put a lot of nurses through training here in Elyria. And uh, so I, I just think, now I just think that that man, he just put on a big front <laughs> when he was, you know, laying down the law to all the students. But I guess when you're dealing with high school students, you kind of have to be a little on top of it, you know. And what was Paradise and where was it? Well, it was downtown Elyria. i trying to think exactly where I could say where it was. It's pretty close to where the foundry is. And uh, they had the best candy that they sold. Uh, they had, um, I mean, you could get a, a meal if you wanted whatever. Most kids that went down there, if they got fries and a Coke, that was about what they got. But I can remember going there on Sundays for like for a Sunday dinner as a big treat. And they had uh, their display of all their candy, which was really, really looked great. It was a pretty big place. And usually Elyria High students sat on one side of Paradise and Elyria Catholic students sat on the other side, <laughs> which, you know, signs of the time back then, but everybody got along. Well, 1959, uh, our economy wasn't the best in Elyria, and my dad worked at Bendix, and work wasn't the best, and I knew if I didn't have some help with schooling that I probably wouldn't be able to go. And uh, I babysat a lot, and I earned money for a lot of things, but I didn't have any money accumulated to go to school. So without the scholarship, I would have had to probably work a year or two to save the money so that I could have gone to MB Johnson. Back then, the, the tuition was $250 a year, which sounds like nothing now, but back then that was a lot of money. So it took uh, $750 to get through training, and I received $200 in the scholarship each year. So you didn't get a lump sum. You had, each year you had to work and to get through. So that was, that was like a gift from heaven for me. <laughs> well, I worked as an aide at the hospital for two, two summers in high school. So I had a pretty good idea what nursing was all about. And when I graduated, I worked on maternity, both in labor delivery, nursery, and on the floor with the mothers. And I really loved it. And I worked there for four years, and then I started my family. And when my youngest son when my, was going to school, I got a job as a school nurse at St. Vincent de Paul School. So I used my nursing with the school children and I worked there for 26 years.